Yo, what's going on, peeps? Be back with another vid. Really not advised. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. Make sure you comment. Make sure you share. Big up the subs that we already have. Big yourselves up. This video is a little late. This is the England v Ukraine review. The game was obviously on Saturday. <laughs> and you kick off, I'm sure we all know the result. We've seen the vids online of all the celebrations, people stopping the bus, shaking the bus, singing it's coming home. That's probably going to be number one soon because I'm hearing it every day. So who knows? It might go number one again. If it even went number one back in 96, probably who knows. I doubt it, but you never know. Back in the 90s, it was a crazy time. But I digress. We get into the vid, the review, England 4, Ukraine nil, And let me start off by saying, I expected England to have a harder game than that. Because Ukraine gave Holland a tough time. And albeit in the Netherlands got knocked out, but this is in the group stage and they just about lost. I think they lost 3 2 in the end. They ran the Netherlands close. They had to fight to get that win. But in that game, I did not see that same Ukraine. Maybe the first. You know, England scored in the first like four or five minutes, so I think only the end of the end of the first half, towards the end, I think that's when Ukraine slowly started to apply some pressure, but it didn't really work out for them and they looked a little bit leggy, a little tired. But England, Harry Kane with the first goal, then I believe Maguire got the second in the second half. Then Kane grabbed another one. And then Henderson with his first goal for England. So big him up as well. I think he's, he's got a few caps. Maybe around 60 odd caps or something like that he's got. And it's his first goal. So big him up. But again into the game. England. They looked comfortable throughout the game. Let's put it that way. There's a couple of scares. That with... Um, between Pitford and Walker, there's a little mix-up. One foot they were going, but neither of them came, and they almost got in. And one hash clearance from Pitford, but other than that, England looked comfortable, looked in the driving seat. It was only ever going to go one way, and that was England going to the semis against Denmark. Now, I want to say the Denmark game would be a lot harder, but after that Ukraine game, I'd, I don't know. Now, obviously Denmark did beat um, England 1-0 in the, in the Nations League, but that was a dodgy, dubious penny that they got. But they were stubborn, England couldn't penetrate and get through. So, we know what they're about. They're solid usually in the back. They've got Christensen, they've got Heiberg in there. They're very, very, very solid. Now, it's going to take a lot for England to to break that land of defence. They're going to have to definitely be a lot more direct. Definitely loads of runs in behind, losing pace, whether it be Saka, Sterling, Sancho, Greed, whatever. They're going to need pace. Now, obviously the lineup for that game against Denmark, we don't know what they're going to go with because if you've learned anything from this tournament is that you cannot predict Gareth's line up all the way. Maybe the defence you can probably get in there. You know Declan Rice and Phillips will be in there. But when it comes to like on the right hand side you're definitely gonna get Saka, Foden, I don't know if Mount's gonna come in. You definitely know Grealish ain't coming in. So that's one thing we do know, but I don't know. But back to the game, it's like a bit over the place there, but Ukraine for me, let me. They were not great. They let me down. I thought they would give England a little bit more of a of a challenge than they did. Make it a bit more of a game out of it, especially with the fans there, because there was Ukraine fans in there. But there was England fans there as well, so you thought they'd have made a bit more of a spectacle. But England just battered them. And to be honest, the scoreline does look really bad. Obviously, it's four nil. But the thing is that England just took the chances they had rather than it would be an onslaught 
if you know what I mean. It wasn't like England were prepping up the goal like Man City do week in, week out. It wasn't like that. It was just they had chances and they just took them. They were just clinical, that's it. Because they might have had 10 shots for the whole game. So it's not like they bombarded the goal. But England, obviously, they've not been scoring a lot of goals. They're one of the lowest scoring teams where they were in the tournament. I think before that they had like four goals or something like that, but not a lot. So they've now banged four goals in the game. They did look decent. Kane looked not back to his best, but you definitely saw some of the Kane you see at Tottenham coming out in that game. Now, obviously, what people need to understand, Kane did look bad in the um, in the group stages, but I think that's more of a thing that the players around him don't play the way that he's used to playing. So you see him drop deep. And he will receive the ball, but there's no runners, usually, on the outside. Or there's no interchange. So it was a thing where Son obviously knows how he plays. Lamella, Lucas, all of them know how he plays. So when he's in Tottenham, he plays with them week in, week out. So they know each other. There's a lot of chemistry. But for England, they don't play together that often. And they've already had these little training sessions. Not really a lot to... It's a lot to try and learn in the short space of time to go and put in practice in the tournament. But it seems now, as the tournament's going on, they're starting to see, and you're seeing what Kane can do. He's dropping deep, he's putting in passes, making space for like the Sancho's and the Sterlings. And now they're actually understanding and they're filling that space, making it harder for the defenders. And to be honest with you, that's what they're going to need if this is really going to come home. Because at the moment, they obviously they've got Denmark in the way next, but this is probably the best time to go on and win it. If we're being honest, they've got a good good chance of beating Denmark, absolutely. Denmark have looked okay, solid, but very lot of fight and obviously with Christian Eriksen as well. They're definitely gonna be going at it for for him and big up to Eriksen as well. He's been out, pictured out and about, looking a lot more better, looking healthy. So big up Ericsson. Former Tottenham man, obviously didn't end well for him. The fans wanted him out because the last two seasons he was not great. But I think he wasn't there mentally, but he was still one of ours. He was there for seven years or he was there for a good time. So big him up and good to see him doing well. But I'm sure Denmark can make it a lot harder than Ukraine. I'm almost sure. But again, England have a chance. Obviously, Spain or Italy will be awaiting them in the final if they get there. And even neither of those teams have really looked that great. I'll probably say probably Italy might might pick Spain on performances. Maybe Italy look a little bit more a little bit more better than Spain. But other than that, they're not really looking good. If anything, England's probably the only team that's in it looking a little bit more what's the word a little more balanced look a little threatening and that's the consistent so I don't know and England haven't considered a goal in this whole tournament so far and they're now in the semi-final so it just shows you you know they're they're very solid at the back Maguire's look good see people say what you want but I think this suits him better because it's not as quick as the Premier League so it's a lot slower and it suits him, so he looks so he he's shining right now. Even Pickford, Phillips and Rice have come good. Looked a little dodgy against Scotland, but they definitely on the job since then. So it could be coming home. Very possible, who knows? But we shall we shall see. But that's the bid. Obviously the semi finals will kick off tomorrow. England play on Wednesday. So you've got your spin early on Tuesday and obviously England, Denmark, Wednesday. So make sure you go watch those. Tournament wraps up on the Sunday the 11th. So not that long left this week. And obviously pre-season and what have you will kick off. But anyway, I still have to say make sure you like, wash your hands. Make sure you sanitize if you can't wash them. 
keep your distance and most important wear your mask it's not the 19th of July after, apparently the road will be come then no mask will be required it will be more of a personal choice than mandatory so we will see but until then and the next vid which will be obviously I'll probably do one after each game or I'll just do them all together or whatever we're not sure how it's going to rock it but we will be doing some type of content over here so make sure you back over here make sure you inside but until then big yourselves up enjoy the rest of your day and I'm out of it peace peeps